really we didn't change anything just because we're desert racing and I mean you could get super carried away with stuff. We definitely learned like in qualifying last week we tried some stuff that we shouldn't have tried. We should have just kept the weight on the back of the truck and kept fuel in it. I spent so much time in short course racing that we we're always trying to figure out a way to go faster in qualifying and I've got to get out of some of that mindset. We had uh, two days of prep. Jeff did a great job. We basically just uh, washed it off. He checked all the fluids. Uh, shocks looked good. Everything looked good. Uh, I had to do a little bit of body work and um, got her back together and, and changed the tires and here we are. felt good out there. I mean, it's you know, it's only a mile and a half course, but I wish we could do, you know, 10 more laps on it. It was uh it was a lot of fun. So, looking forward to the race. Hopefully, we get to go, you know, through that same section. Travis definitely does way better on these type of turns, the hard packed ones, banked. I think it's just the soft sand turns that he hasn't quite figured out the limits of the truck yet, but I rode with him at Parker last year through the gauntlet and he was on fire there. Definitely not my forte, but it's good to race this stuff because then I can learn. So, that's what we we use the qualifying today to uh, to learn uh, sliding and going in corners deeper, sliding more, and not driving around the turns, uh, keep our uh, momentum up. We don't we don't come to race for second place, so we're gonna do everything we can to get first place. And if that's um, getting better in the infield stuff, then that's what we need to do. That was actually a really, really good time. We were pushing it pretty good, you know, in the corners to try to see what the truck could do, and, and it took it. But all in all, it was, yeah, it was a blast. We pushed pretty hard today, uh, made some mistakes, but if you don't make mistakes, you're not trying hard enough. So uh, we're really happy with the outcome. I guess I guess we won by uh, 50 seconds um, over second place, so that's um, that's good. You know, we we felt great out there. We. Um, I, I definitely think we're getting better in the turns for sure. So yeah, we're excited to go into tomorrow and, and uh, see if we can, you know, try to put more time on.
started good. We're running good for a lap and a half, and, and um, snapped an axle on the second halfway through the second lap, just in a sandy area, and it just gave way. We've never broken an axle before, so that's uh, new to us. But everything felt great today, and everything felt great on the first lap. They said we put five seconds on second place, and then um, yeah, we were just driving our race, and you know nothing, nothing crazy. We were out of the ordinary, and it just. Um, Parts fail, and it decided to fail today, which is really shitty. Uh, we were super excited to come in with over a minute lead. I know he's bummed, we're all bummed, but I mean, I think everybody knows we were the fast one out here, and the truck works great, and just keep pushing hard. I think this was good practice for him. We'll get her fixed, and, and we'll definitely be back stronger, and you know, stuff we're learning. Probably was time for axles, but everybody kept saying they'd be fine, but clearly not. For this to happen is a huge bummer because we won the first legacy race of this year and we wanted to win the last one. But uh, that's uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles and put it back together, fix her up, and go drive her some more.